Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Sportsbook Robbery. We got our Monday Night Football. We got two games. Uh, we'll go over to one game. We got Jacksonville at Buffalo, 7.30 on ESPN. Uh, I got some notes here. Um, Jacksonville, coached by Peterson. He's a Super Bowl champ, but uh, Jacksonville is struggling right now. They're off to an 0-2 start. Going against the Bills, who are at home. They're 2-0, coached by Sean McDermott. Uh Last year and this year, the Bills have reinvented basically their whole team. Uh, been a sleeper team this year. Everyone was doubting him, not me. Uh, they got a new offense and defensive coordinator over the last year. Both coaches come off the coaching tree of Andy Reid. So uh, both good coaches. Uh, Bills are at home. The weather, uh, actually that could be on here too. Weather's going to be 69, a little bit of uh, chance of rain, a little bit of wind. That might benefit Jacksonville since uh, they used to play in Florida in a hot, humid, shitty weather. So it's like being a kid. And we used to play sports during the fall. You go outside and you always play better in the fall weather. So I might be able to keep their defense on the field longer, not having to come out just because of humidity and stuff. But uh, the Bills have struggled versus Jaguar. Last year, Jaguars beat them 25-20. The year before that, it was another weird game. Uh, Jacksonville, they played in London. Jacksonville beat them 9-6. to Yeah, 9-6. to Crazy, right? But uh, that was in London. Uh, Jacksonville is struggling. Lost their last, last year, going back to last year, they lost their last five games plus the two this year. So they're 0-7 in their last seven games. Uh, Josh Allen has struggled on Monday Night Football. He's got a 3-5 and five record. So that's a losing record on Monday Night Football. Uh, Buffalo got some key injuries. Uh, a lot of them. Terrell Bernard's out. A pictorial muscle. Uh, Teron Johnson hurt his forearm. He's, uh, to me, he's one of the best nickelbacks in football. Jacksonville got a, I mean, Buffalo got a, Way more injuries than that, but those are just two recent injuries. Uh, Jacksonville, Darnell Savage is out. Tyson Campbell with a hamstring. Uh, Ingram, he's on offense. He should be coming back. Uh, might not come back today, but uh, another key thing to know, Jacksonville center, Mitch Morse, a uh, veteran from the Bills. He's Bills center for years. He's now on Jacksonville for the first year, as well as Gabe Davis. Uh, big receiver. Uh, you might remember him catching four touchdowns. I think it was four, it was three or four versus uh, the Chiefs a few years back in that big game that changed the rules for overtime. Uh, Bill's offense is still trying to figure it out. They're, uh, they're doing well, but they're still trying to get it down. Uh, Allen hasn't been throwing the ball much. They've been mostly running. Uh, although he is 31 for 42 with no interceptions. So uh, he's definitely a dual threat. Great scrambler. He's hard to tackle. If you guys are watching this, you know who Josh Allen is. Uh, they've been struggling in the Bills on third down conversions. They're 6 for 18. Fourth down, they are 3 for 3. So, uh, what else? What else I got here? Uh, Josh isn't spreading the ball around a lot. There's not one threat. You know, you got multiple threats. The people were worried that Diggs left and we lost Davis. But uh, it's been spreading the ball around. Everyone's been getting some receptions. They've been running hard. Uh, main threat has been Shakir getting the most touches. Uh, the Bills been running the twelve man personnel. Now that they got Knox back last year, he got hurt and he came back at the end of the year. That means uh, two tight ends, two wide receivers, one back. 
A lot of big guys on the front, so they just pounding that ball. Uh, running backs. Bill's got like three good running backs. Cook. They got this rookie Davis who's doing pretty good. And uh, can't think of the other guy's name. Bill's O line. It's better than good if you ask me. I mean, I'm biased. But uh, they've been doing real well, even with their new center. Uh, Jacksonville's defense. Playing a bunch of young guys. Uh, gave up some big plays two games ago versus Miami. 39-yarder, 63-yarder, 80-yarder. I mean, that's Tyreek Hill and Waddle and stuff, but still. Uh, they got a defensive coordinator named Nelson. Uh Struggled against the Browns last week, too, Jacksonville. Sean Watson was running around. They couldn't contain him. So if that happened with Sean Watson, what do you think Josh Allen's going to do? Well, the last game, he didn't run much. I think he had, like, two carries and uh, two attempts. But uh, the Bills have struggled versus uh, Jacksonville. The last game, he... Uh, he went under on his carries, too. They got his carries pretty low. It's at six and a half. Uh, he's been doing, well, besides last game, he put, he's been doing like eight, eight to ten carries. So that might be a good play to look out for if, uh, if the game is close and he needs to put his cape on. He's going to take that ball and he's going to run. So that could be a good play. Uh, what else I got? The run did Jacksonville. They got pushed back last week. The tackling wasn't good. Uh, Watson was able to run around, like I said. Jacksonville's linebacker is definitely going to have to step it up. Uh, Jacksonville has not blitzed a lot. And Buffalo struggles against the blitz. So I think a game plan Jacksonville is going to have is to be blitzing. Moving them guys around on the line. Doing some stunts, some switches, and just having them linebackers blitz in. But then that'll lead to, like I was saying, Josh Allen to scramble and go over that five and a half, six and a half uh, rushing attempts. But uh, with the blitzes, that leaves a, a receiver open. That means they're one on one. So look out for maybe possibly big game for Coleman. You got Hollins too. He took Gabe Davis's spot. He's a big guy. Uh, Curtis Samuel came over from Washington. Then you also got Cook as a threat. They got they got tons of options to fuck with, to mess with, sorry. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, not doing so good. He, he came off a big payday. He paid the man. He's lost his last seven games. He needs to step it up. Gabe Davis, I'm expecting him to have a big game. It's, uh, you know, you could call it a revenge game. I don't really know exactly, as being, being a Bills fan, maybe this is bad. I don't know exactly why he left. I know they weren't trying to pay a lot of people, and they were just rebuilding. But uh, he could have a salty taste in his mouth, and uh, he's decent enough to definitely. And he knows what's going on. You know what the DBs are doing. He can help the, the defense for Jacksonville, telling them. I mean, I'm sure they change things, but still. Having Gabe Davis and, and uh, Morris on there is going to be a problem. What else? Uh, Jacksonville, 5 for 19 on third downs. They've struggled. The O line gave up seven sacks. So look out for the Bills' D line. Oliver, Rousseau, Epinesa, Von Miller to have big games. Nobody's home. You got uh, ETN been struggling. Jacksonville's running back, he's had 95 yards the last two games, averaging 3.5 3 yards per carry. Jacksonville needs to keep some time of possession. They need to keep that ball and keep Josh Allen off the field. They need to sustain drives, to have third down conversions. And again, that red zone, they got to uh, complete some red zone targets. I mean, everybody needs to do them things, right? Bills D has been great, even though they got a lot of injuries, a lot of new players. They're all playing hard, looking good. Uh, they got a new D line coach, Marcus West. Bills linebackers right now. Since Milano got hurt and uh, they got rid of what's his name, right now they're playing two rookies. One's a seventh round, one's a third round. They've been doing great. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? The Bills, the Bills are DBs. Christian Benford, he's playing great. Ingram and Lewis, Nickelbacks. Ingram had two interceptions last game. Uh, safeties, Hamlin and Rapp. Hamlin stepping up. He, he's a beast. Ten tackles last game. Uh, all Bills defense. High effort, good tackling. Uh, I think it's the day we take we take over and uh, we show Jacksonville who Buffalo really is. But uh, yeah, that's my rundown of the game. I got a few player props. Getting for it, uh, they don't have it on here for me to show it to you. But uh, I went with James Cook, first quarter rushing yards over uh, thirteen and a half. I think it is. Um, you could play his full game yards. Definitely a good play. Alt line it back. You could get it down to uh fifty nine and a half. He has gone over it. His so last four games, uh, two games this year, he's easily gone over it. Uh, definitely anytime touchdown is a good play. But I went with this. I played this last night. Uh, I didn't end up giving it to you guys uh, for the Kansas City game for Steele, running back for the Chiefs, the rookie. Uh, I seen it, and then it gave me the idea when I just seen Cooks. Uh, they had Steels at nine and a half, but uh, Buffalo's been running the ball a lot. So as long as they get that ball, uh, a couple runs, I mean, he's averaging about five yards a carry. So, uh, so this year, 5.4 yards per carry. Uh, last two games, he has gone over this, and that was even with uh, Josh Allen fumbling. He only had one, one, uh, one set of downs in that first quarter. Uh, I just thought instead of playing that whole game, let's let's get it over real fast and get it over in the beginning. Um, yeah, so James Cook, first quarter yards over 13 and a half. Let's get it. All right, next up, uh, same kind of idea, except I went with Dalton Kincaid. Uh, first quarter receiving yards over three and a half. I found it on FanDuel. Uh, they had that four and a half, and then it changed to three and a half. Uh, you got to look for these plays. But uh, they were trying to get him involved the first game. They He was triple covered the whole game. Then, he, then the second game, uh, they tried to get him involved right in the beginning. He got a couple catches. And then uh, Poya, believe it or not, the old uh, safety from the Bells who got traded to the Dolphins, uh, they collided, and uh, Kincaid had to get checked for a concussion, and then he sat out for a while. He was okay, but I uh, missed a couple plays and whatnot. So uh, I expect him for them to look for him right off the rip again. Uh, three and a half yards, easy one reception over with. It is first quarter, so there's risk to these plays. So I'm giving him a shot this week and uh, see how it works. But uh, I also liked his reception yards for the game. Over 37 and a half, minus 110 uh, Fanduel, as well as uh, I liked his anytime touchdown. The only one I did play was the first quarter. Um, you know, when I do these videos, I, I try to give some info and different ideas and stuff. So if you actually watch and listen, you know, hopefully you're using the advice and you're just not scanning through because I'm sure there's some people and just looking for the place to pop up. Because sometimes, you know, uh, I should even do what I say rather than what I do. Uh, put in the time and effort and I find these plays but then when I make the video, I'm going over things and I'm talking it out. It's kind of like triple checking and 
You know what I mean? So then different things come to mind. Uh, for instance, the WNBA video yesterday, I played Carlton's threes and I said, I said the safer bet is over eight and a half and uh, like an idiot. I didn't play the eight and a half and I played the threes. She didn't hit the threes, but she played the eight and a half. And, uh, you know, it's kind of the curse of uh, the vlogging curse. You know, I started to put a little more effort and time into trying to do this stuff because I'm all, I'm new to all this. Got to make the videos, record it, edit it, uh, thumbnails, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Worry about who's watching, who's not. It's just, you know, a lot more to my plate. And uh, I'm going to figure it out. But, yeah, so just, you know, hopefully you guys listen to what I say and just not looking for the picks. I'm trying to teach you different uh, techniques and tips in, in how to sports bet. This way uh, you can just do it yourself. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so Kincaid, I played that first quarter. But uh, look for his anytime touchdown as well as uh, definitely I feel like he's going to go over these yards. Steven yards over 17 and a half. I played it on FanDuel. Uh, Might have got bumped to 18 and a half, but you can get it on Bet MGM. Did not go over this last game. Hooked it, but uh, I went over it the first game. Uh, it's a dual threat, running, receiving. Uh, the red zone, they, they catch them. Uh, Jacksonville gives Buffalo a problem, like I've been saying. We lost to them the last two years. Uh, I think a couple plays are going to have to happen. Cook's going to have to get involved in other ways. And uh, a little check down, he's going to go over this. So let's get it. James Cook, receiving yards, 17 and a half. Uh, he's a beast, man. I'm glad he's healthy and he's back. Hitting hard. He's aggressive. He's in every play. I played his tackles over three and a half. Uh, Jared King is even money. Last game, he had eight tackles versus Miami. Uh, they got tackles and assists. You know, it's kind of tough when you do stuff. I mean, it might be a better play because I Depends how how they mark it down. An assist basically is, you know, when you help someone be the tackler. But uh, they got it at five and a half. He had 10 last game. You know, I just see him being aggressive. He's going to be on the field a while with all the injuries. It's going to be him and Rap playing safety and, uh, I expect him to get involved. If in the run game he clogs the holes, uh, he's not scared to hit. He's a beast, and uh, I'm rocking with him. Let's get him. We could like the video. New viewers, hit that subscribe button. And let's turn them notifications on. So you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. Try to be as transparent as possible. If you're watching, leave a comment, ask a question, tell me if you cash bets. If you're not, uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there. And I appreciate everyone who does. Uh, I only give you guys the plays I bet. So these are the plays I bet. There are other ones that I did like. Um, as I say, I'm not a professional sports better. I've been doing this for a couple years. Uh, this is how I make my money. But uh, sometimes I have to take money out and uh, I have to pay bills. That's the way it is. So, you know, unfortunately, uh, I have to pay some bills. No pun intended, bills. But I also like Khalil Shakir receiving yards over 39 and a half. Got a minus 160 Fandor. Uh, Gabe Davis, I expect him to have a good game. Uh, over 38 and a half yards, minus 110 Fandor. Uh, I told you about the Cook's rushing yards. Uh, anytime touchdown for Cook. I think Kincaid actually might get into that end zone. Uh, as well as sacks. Ed Oliver, quarter sack. Russo, quarter sack. Uh, you put a little bit on both of them. Uh, I believe they're going to get to Lawrence today. Um, Keon Coleman. 
You know, I, like I said earlier, I expect Jags to try to blitz, even though they haven't really been blitzing. But blitzing, the Bills have been doing good against. And that's going to leave one-on-ones on the outside. And uh, I expect Coleman to body them. He's a big kid. And uh, he only had, like, one re- one target last game. I expect him to try to get him the ball. So his receiving yards are nice and low, 34 and a half. Uh same thing with Josh Allen. His rushing attempts are real low because he didn't rush last game. These are all key plays that you got to look for the next week. When, when the books drop these numbers because they haven't been involved, uh, you, get good, you get good value. I expect him to go over his rushing yards as well. Uh, of course, you got Allen anytime touchdown. You got Cook anytime touchdown. And then the one play I got for the last game uh, is the tight end, Giuseppe. Receptions over two and a half, minus 125 on FanDuel. They got it out at 145 on DraftKings. So definitely you always have to have multiple books, find the best lines, find the best odds. Uh, he had 10 receptions last game. Uh, commanders are pretty good against the tight ends, but I expect them to go over two and a half. Uh, what outside? I'm going to start getting lines and videos out sooner. Uh, a lot of plays, I realize I'm missing the lines for the for the following week. So I'm going to try to get videos out sooner. And uh, maybe do a little game go over like how I did for this Bills game on other games. And, uh, yeah, let's get that money. Need some money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Go Bills! He thought it was over. I got a same game parlay. Uh, always take advantage of uh, the bonuses that they offer you on the top of like DraftKings or FanDuel every day. They'll have some bonuses, or touchdowns, this, that, uh, profit boost. Use profit boost on find a high odds play, minus 160, 80. And if you bet more money, minus 200, and you boost it up. Uh, so you get it down to, you know, minus 110 or whatever it is. But uh, or the TD plays, that's how I got this bonus bet. I bet $20 and uh, I got it back because it didn't cash. But, um, yeah, so I did uh, Josh Allen, one-plus passing touchdowns. Uh, running back for the Jags, ETN, 25-plus rushing yards. Kincaid, 25-plus rushing yards. Gabe Davis, 25-plus receiving yards. I mean, Kincaid was receiving yards. Gabe Davis, receiving yards, 25-plus. Shakir, 25-plus receiving yards. Bills team total, over 16.5 points. James Cook, 50-plus rushing yards. Keon Coleman, over 20.5 receiving yards. And James Cook, anytime touchdown. It's plus 800. Uh, bonus bets, you don't get the money back, the $20. So if you would do a regular single play, you would only get the winnings of the $20, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, these are all, like, minus 200, 280 plays, minus 400s. Like, you know, I outlined them all down, uh, low numbers. And uh, I've been coming real close. I usually do one of these again. Missing them by one and stuff, so eventually you're going to hit. But, uh, all right, let's have a good day. Bills win. Ace money to name. Getting paid for the game. Let's go. Look out for the live bets.